Welcome to whiskey.com, where fine spirits meet. My name is Lüning, Horst Lüning. I'm the senior taster of whiskey.com. This is my son Ben, the master taster. And today we have our club bottling, which is in the moment, I'm afraid, only available for Germany and Austria. And this one is a Kilchoman triple cask. So this is matured in three different casks, ex bourbon, ex oloroso sherry and ex Jimenez sherry. And this is 46% ABV, unchill filtered, uncolored, and is only available with a club membership for a year uh, in our company. And unfortunately, all you abroad, sorry. Yeah. Yeah, so triple cask is a mixture between ex burb cask, Oloroso and Pedro Jimenez cask. This is the first time Kilchoman does a triple cask, uh, but I've heard that they will follow with international bottlings with triple cask as well. Don't know how long that will take, but I would, but might help you. I mm -hmm. would guess that it's maximum half a year. That uh, that would come out. So yeah, it's uh, Kilchoman is a small distillery on the Isle of Isla. Small. They expanded pretty uh, aggressively. They pretty much doubled their uh, capacity, and they also bought farms. And they are really into regional. Have their own maltings and no coloring, no chill filtration, all bottled by hand by people from Isla. So they're they're really an Isla company. Mm -hmm. This is, if you want to have something 100% made Isla, this is pretty much what you get for 100% made Isla. Yeah. Um, the Kirchhoman uh, bottling is one of our first we have for this exclusive membership bottling. So this is very special. We are very happy that Kilchoman provided us that bottling. Mm -hmm. And uh, as always, uh, we have some some samples to taste and some uh, where variety of samples from which uh, we decide how to move forward. And it's always a surprise how in the end mm -hmm. uh, the real bottling uh, will be. So we just had it uh, in the first take. So we're much pleased with that. And I think we should start now. Mm -hmm. um, I still have in my glass because I poured too much. And you're uh, halfway little, through. A little left. Uh, yeah, give me a little, <laughs> little bit more. That would be nice. So this bottle from Kilchoman is so heavy and big and have the, has this big stand. So this is as well wonderful as a present. Mm -hmm. uh, I like it. The cork is very well done. You pour out of a, a big hole. So very, very good. Mm. Yeah, it starts with a big, big pitiness, smokiness. And this is first you have all there is a smoke. And it takes quite a while until you're able to to smell something different behind. So I would suggest it's 40, 45 probably up to 50 ppm. I don't know the exact mm. uh, recipe from Kilchoban, probably 45. And after a little bit of time, you get this sherry note in it. And that's the Oloroso sherry note. Uh, Oloroso is a sherry uh, which is fully fermented until the yeast stops by itself uh, at 50% ABV typically. And then they add a brandy from that uh, identical uh, wine to the uh, sherry so that you reach 20% ABV. And the Pedro Jimenez sherry is different. There you stop the maturation at a lower ABV. And this leads to a residue of sugars in it. And uh, then you fill up with brandy as well up to 20 so that you have a sweeter sherry. And uh, the sweetness isn't here in the in the smell. There's there is this fruitiness in it, and this big big pitiness. Mm -hmm. Your turn. So yeah, the first sip smell that I had, uh, it was pretty oaky, pretty woody, with uh, licorice and that little bit of burnt feeling combined with a lot of peat smoke. Now that I have it in my nose and I really get a, bit, a little bit adapted to it, then now I do have the the, um, 
the sherry in the nose as well. So if you have that in your glass and you smell it uh, and you don't find your sherry right away, you just have to get adapted to it. Uh, it took me like two glasses that I got into the sherry in the nose. Otherwise, two glasses, really? No, nah, two, <laughs> two sips uh, of glasses. And now on the third sip, sip uh, uh, I, can, I can smell the sherry as well. Cool. Mm. I have, in addition, some honey and starting orange juice, a little sweet. So the orange has to be from the distillery character and the and the honey, probably this sugary component of the Pedro Jimenez sherry. And uh, yeah, it's very, very welcoming. And uh, yeah, nothing from the wood so far, yeah. just from the sherry and the distillery character and the peated malt. Yeah, now on, on, on the second sip or third sip, it's much, much more gentle. It was pretty harsh when you had yeah. the first thing you noticed. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. But still a lot of peat in there. Cheers. Cheers. Mm-hmm. The sherry, not the sherry, the oak still kicks in. There's massive spiciness in your mouth. It's mouth watering. The uh, the peat smoke clads your mouth from the inside and there is a little bit of dryness showing up some kind of licorice as you said um, brings the aftertaste uh, this well the licorice is uh, sandalwood which is cooked and caramelized several times so there's this aromatic wood character in it as well mm. yeah mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that is that is just a, a nice combination of that spiciness. I don't know how we to describe licorice, uh, licorice, if that is spicy or sweet or I don't know. But you have that that mixture between sweetness, fruitiness, spiciness, and now for the aftertaste, it goes off with still a good amount of smoke, but also that round feeling of fruitiness that you have from a, from a nice sherry whiskey. Yeah, I love it. It's pretty nice, but still, I would say not beginner friendly as the, <laughs> the start is pretty harsh, pretty spicy, pretty smoky. That is just usually for beginners too much of, of flavor. Some people are just into that kind of stuff and as the beginners, they do like it as well. Yeah, the aftertaste is a lot more gentle than the start and the, uh, the mouthfeel. In the aftertaste, it's just warming, welcoming, smooth, gentle. So the aftertaste is uh, when the immediate spiciness of the, uh, of the oak vanishes, then it's getting more and more uh, smooth and gentle. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I like it very much, mm -hmm. very much. Yeah, mm. I'm really glad that it turned out uh, that <laughs> good. If you have these samples and you get four or five samples and you know it's 20 barrels or casks that go into the bottle and you really don't know that, you know which direction it goes, but you don't know if it turns out really well. Mm -hmm. And it turned out harsher than I expected, mm -hmm. but I still do love it. Yeah, It's just not a whiskey that you would just enjoy easily on the side it's just the whiskey that really grabs your attention yeah yeah that was it thank you very much for watching and see you next time <laughs>